energy except Where them hands, where them holes, where them throws, you know what I'm saying? See, some people have called what I do MMA, and I don't consider what I do to be MMA. I consider it like I describe it on the channel. It's Taekwondo with cross trading and Judo, Kisho, Jitsu, Hakikido, and Western Boxing, which means that some of the sparring that we do when I call myself blending the primary styles of Taekwondo and Judo is what I've seen other people do when they have, if they have Hakido sparring. So at best, it would be my own point system that I devised. And I have been technically given an MMA pass by somebody, but I don't call myself MMA because I'm not an MMA coach. I don't have MMA certification. I've never fought in a cage. I've never trained anyone to fight in the cage. Okay. But I'm still going to react to comment to this because I also believe in, you know, let's look at the martial arts as a whole. As a whole. And this fight demonstrates some things of both how. A woman could beat a man. In this case, she did not. A woman can beat a man in a real fight. But in contest, it's probably going to go towards the guy, and we're going to see why. A woman can beat a man if she does it quickly there's, or there's a severe skill or size difference that favors her. So she's 151 pounds. They're about the same weight. See, they're about the same size. So the male strength advantage is going to kick in unless she has a huge, huge, huge advantage of technique. Now, watch what happens here. If I can get it to kill, watch this. Start with a body kick straight to a head kick. And Gina looks for that trip there to get the finish the takedown and job. Guns finish trip. the takedown. Solid, solid, good job. Now, I didn't get a good job of capturing it. He did a head kick. She caught it. She used it to trip him up and throw him down on the ground. Now, check this out. I think had this been a real fight and she threw him on concrete, the fight would be over and she would have won. But since this was contest, I think you know what happened. You must be rude because you smoked a ball of dope. Trying to play it as a joke. Trying to say you stay afloat. No, you do for the value of the stance. So they coming for that ass. You've been burning in a flash. Your luck has been running, but ain't gonna last. Luck has been coming, but ain't coming fast. Bullets are going at mine with speeds. Crying the cunning of begging and please. Blood is the front, it was stress me to flesh. Mother's the heaven, you just may see next. Reap with the bill that has come to collect. Pay it one way or the other's your neck. Now you talking fast. Now you talking fast. Now you talking fast. So my hat is off to him for, you know, just winning the contest and not trying to brutalize her. My hat's off to her for getting in there. Um, I mean, she had really good technique. And like I've said, it's possible for a woman to beat a man, but it's highly unlikely. And I've seen cases where women have beaten men, and I'm not going to say that there's no woman out there alive that could beat me up. I know that's not true either. But if we want to play odds and we want to play statistics and most probability and use the bell curve and mathematics and everything like that, pretty much a man is going to beat a woman in a quote unquote contest or fair fight. That's why you should train in martial arts if you're a lady, so you can make things unfair in your direction. So that if you're attacked by a guy who doesn't know what he's doing and you know what you're doing, to a much more severe degree than him, you may be able to catch him off guard and stun him enough so that you can leave. As another martial artist that I know says, stun and run. That's what you need to do. But you can knock him out and go, and then by the time he gets up and really wants to put a whooping on you, hey, you're gone. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share to people like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts and peace. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate it.